Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 17. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to repeal text. And before you go ahead and get started, make sure that you have a good understanding of how layers work. If you don't, go back to some of the previous tutorials and make sure that you watch the one over how to deal with layers because we're definitely going to deal with layers in terms of helping you to understand how to repeal text within the Xara Web Designer. So if you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document. And once you do that, go ahead and go to your page in Layer Gallery and lock that panel. Once you lock that panel, make sure that the mouse off layer is selected. And in this case it is, because we have a blue rectangle behind it. And then go ahead and go to your text tool in your toolbar over here and draw out a text area. And again, some of this stuff is stuff that we've already covered. So if you feel like I'm going too quick, look at some of the previous tutorials. Alright, so let's go ahead, now that we've drawn our text box, we're going to just make up some text. And you can type whatever you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to write just stuff as I go. This is an XR Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial showing how to repel text in XR. It is important that objects are on correct position or I should say that a little bit differently it's important that objects are on are in the proper order on a layer for the repel feature to work and that's very true it is very important that the objects are in the proper order on a given layer for the repel feature to work. And you'll see what I mean as I show you it. So once you draw that text box, go ahead and select the selection tool so that it'll deselect the, the text and it'll just show it as selected. And go ahead and select the quick shape from your toolbar here. I'm going to select a circle. I would recommend you select the circle tool just to show you how it repels around a circle. And just draw a circle on the screen here. And if you look in your page in layer gallery, you'll now see that there's an ellipse that we drew or a circle. And it's right above the text area. And the order of your objects in the mouse off layer are very important uh, in this situation because we're repelling text. So now that we've drawn our ellipse and it's above the text area, let's go ahead and right click on that quick shape that we just drew. And you'll see an option that says repel text under. And if you see that option, go ahead and left click on it. And then go back to your toolbar, select the selection tool, and move the circle towards the text. And you'll see that as we move it towards it, it repels the text around it because we use the repel text under feature. And when it says repel text under, it means this quick shape repels any text that is under it, this circle or ellipse that we drew. And if you look in the page and layer gallery, you'll see that the ellipse is above the text area so since it's above it and the text is beneath the ellipse it will repel that text now let's go to the page and layer gallery and move that ellipse under the text so left click and drag it under and look what happens it doesn't repel the text anymore and that's because the ellipse is actually underneath the text if you look at the page and la layer gallery order for the mouse off layer it's in the position where it's underneath the text so it won't repel it and you probably can't see it because we got black a black uh, ellipse going under black text so you probably can't, probably can't see that so let's change the color let's make it maybe like a, a green and you'll see now that the ellipse is actually underneath that text that you have on the screen but if we move this ellipse right back above the text area and move it over you'll see again that it repels the text and in some cases when you're repelling text because it's moving the text around it may make the area larger than what your text area is and in this case it does as you can see that some of the text is readable and some of it's kinda gray that's because our text area is not large enough so what you would do is you double click on that text and you would resize your text area so that it's big enough to show all the text as it repels the text around that object. So left click to select your selection tool again 
and then move your circle around and you'll see that now you can see all the text pretty much no matter where you move this ellipse or circle so that's how you repel text and you now have a better understanding of what order it has to be in to repel the text but I'm going to also show you that you can adjust the distance of the repel or the margin of the repel so right click this circle and then go to the option that says repelling and anchoring and within this menu that pops up you'll see an option that says repel margin and you're going to see that it's set at some variable number whatever that number is in this case I got it set to 5 pixels well if you change that to let's make it 30 pixels or now let's make it 20 pixels and then hit the OK key you'll see that the distance of the repel has increased and if you didn't see that I'll go back again go to repel and anchoring after you right click and by the way you're gonna right click on the object to bring up the panel and then left click on the repellent anchoring and you see it's set to 20 pixels I'll set it to 30 pixels and watch closely as this margin will increase slightly as I change it to t 10 pixels extra which is the total of 30 pixels so now that I've set it to 30 pixels hit OK and you'll see that the distance increased and if I right click on it go to repellent anchoring and I reduce it way down to, let's make it down to 5 pixels you'll see that it comes really close to the object so that's how you adjust the distance of the repel of the text and I want to show you that it doesn't have to be a circle it could be any object in Xara as long as you set that repel text under to any object whether it's a picture or a circle or a square whatever it is it'll repel that text so let's go ahead and delete this circle to demonstrate that so left click it and then hit the delete key on your keyboard and it'll delete that circle and let's go ahead and go to the quick shapes and select a square okay let's draw our square and right click it and select repel text under just like we did before for the circle and then go to your selection tool on the toolbar and if you look in the page and layer gallery make sure that your rounded rectangle is above the text area which in this case it is so since it repels the text under it'll repel the text that we have on screen and as you can see it still repels all of that text and if you right click on it and go to repel and anchoring just like before for the circle you'll see that you have an option to adjust the repel margin we could make it 20 pixels and it'll increase the distance away from the object so that's the overview of how to repel text using XR. The same principles would apply if you put, in, included a photo in the program. We haven't went over how to add photos from your computer into the, the document, but the same principles would apply. You would bring your picture in, you would right click on it, select repel text or repelling and anchoring to adjust the margin, just like you did for, for this quick shape here. So I hope that helps you to learn how to repel text in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. If you have any questions, feel free to send us a message on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you and give us a thumbs up if you think it was helpful in helping you learn how to repel text in XR Web Designer 7 Premium. Thanks again and look forward to showing you some more information about how to use XR, so definitely stay tuned for future tutorials.